Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are dealing with the topic decimals. Grade 6, chapter number 8 is decimals. Grade 7, chapter number 2 is fractions and decimals. And basic concepts of decimals are useful in higher education. If you are new on my channel, please like and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will get notification for my next video. So let us start with today's subtopic. My today's subtopic is new place value chart. This word new is there because this place value once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore and ten crore already we know this we have done in chapter one also. So now in decimals, this is the decimal tenth, hundredth and thousandth. This th is there. It means this ten will come in denominator. 100 th is there so 100 will come in denominator similarly 1000 will also come in denominator and this side you know this is 1 this is your 10 this is your 100 and you can continue so right hand side of the decimal you can observe here ki each number each value is decreases by 10 on the right hand side of the decimal, the numbers are decreasing by 10. On left hand side of the decimal, numbers are increasing by 10. 1 into 10 will be 10, 10 into 10 will be 100, 100 into 10 will be 1000. So numbers increases by 10. This concept is very useful for fill up the blanks and true and false. Complete chapter with subtopics are ready to watch. Grade 6, knowing our numbers, 16 subtopics, whole numbers, 8 subtopics, playing with numbers, 11 subtopics, basic geometrical ideas, 4 subtopics, understanding elementary shapes, 5 subtopics, fraction, 10 subtopics. And please note, part 1 link is given in the description and links for the other subtopics are mentioned in part 1. So now decimal in words, how to write. So, 1, 2, 3, 5, this number is given. So, how do we read this? 1,235. So, the best thing, first write the number. Then, above the each digit, write down the places. And we read this 1,235. Again, this we have done in chapter 1. Take another example. Again, write down the number. Now write the places, so this is decimal, this is tenth and this is hundredth. How do we write down in uh, words? Most of the time students are reading or writing this as a 52, but this is the wrong way of reading and writing. So what is the correct way? We write 723.52. After decimal, we read and write one one digit. So don't read 52, it should be 52. Now again, write down the number above the digits, write down the places. How do we read this? 17.324. Take one more example. Again, write down the numbers, write the places. 32.359 After decimal read and write single digit very very important concept of reading and writing decimals Now 225.529 this is given in words you are supposed to write in numerals or you can say write in decimal so the first thing write down the places now fill the places 225 so 2 will come in 100 place 25 will come here 25 and then point then 5 2 9 we will write down 1 1 digit 7.82 so only 1 point 10 and 100 so 7 0.82 1 and 98 hundredths this is also the way of reading um, and writing decimal so 1 and 
98 hundreds it means your places till will be till hundreds so 1 point tens and hundreds so 1 will come in ones place and 98 hundreds so 9 and 8 will come over here so the decimal will be 1.98 25 and 7 thousands it means we will write down places till thousands and 75 means one sentence so first thing write down the places 25 so 25 will come here and it means decimal 7 thousands it means 7 will come in thousands place and other places will be 0 Take one more example, 33, it means one sentence and here till thousand. So, write down the places. So, here will come 33.32 thousands. So, 32 means last two places will come 32 and this 10 place there is no number. It means there will be 0. So, 33.032. Now place value, write the place value of color digit. So the first one is 745.509. Before writing the place value, find out the color digit is in whole part or in decimal part. So these are the places and now the color digit is in whole part. So just forget about this 745 already we have done in chapter 1. So place value of 4 will be 4 into 10 that is 40. Take another example. So again write down the places. Now decimal, uh, the color digit is in decimal part. So what will be the answer? 9 upon 10. This is 1000. So 9, this th means this 1000 will come in denominator. So 9 upon 1000. Again, write down the places. 2 is in decimal part. 2 is in decimal part. It means this 100 will come in denominator. So, the place value of this 2 will be 2 upon 100. Take one more example. So, write down the places. 5 is in decimal part. It means 5 upon 10. This 10 will come in denominator. So, the decimal, so the Place value of 5 will be 5 upon 10. Expanded form. Write in the expanded form. What is the expanded form? Sum of place values of each digit is known as expanded form. Let us take the example 23,426. There is no decimal part. So first write down the places. Again chapter 1 we have done. How we will write down this 20,000? All the whole parts are there. So, 20,000 plus 300 plus 400 plus 20 plus 6. Same concept we will use for the decimal. So, now write down the places over here. First, we will write for the whole part. So, 200 plus 20 plus 5. Now for the decimal part, decimal part is also there. So decimal part again we will write down plus 8 upon 10, 3 upon 100, 9 upon 1000. 95, first write down the places. Now first we will write down for the whole part. How we will write down? 90 plus 5. Now we will write for the decimal part. So 0 upon 10 plus 2 upon 100 plus 7 upon 1000. Take one more example. Write the places. First we will write for the whole part. So 700 plus 20 plus 9. Now we will write for decimal part. So 5 upon 10 plus 2 upon 100 plus 9 upon 1000. Fractions, grade 6, chapter number 7, grade 7, chapter number 2. These are the subtopics. These are ready to watch. The videos are ready to watch. 
part 1 link is given in the description and link for the other subtopics are mentioned in part 1 now the short form this is written in the expanded form we are supposed to write in short form or write in decimals so again first we will write down about the whole part all these all are the whole part so write the places over here so just fill the number 70 thousand then 6 will come in thousand place 2 will come in tens place and 9 will come in ones place so there is 100 place is missing no number is there with the 100 so we will write down 0 in 100 place this also we have done in chapter 1 same concept we will use for the decimals so let us take the example here again whole part and decimal part both the parts are there write down the places and now fill the number so for the whole part this will come 336.4 is in 100 place so 4 will come here 8 upon 1000 so 8 will come over here 10,000 place is missing so there we will write down 0 take one more example again whole part and decimal part both the parts are there write down the places 40 plus 1 41 will come over here point 2 is in 10 place and 7 is in 1000 place 7 will come over here no number is there with the 100 so this number here we will write down 0 whatever number is missing there we write down 0 Take one more example, again whole part and decimal part, both the parts are over here. Write down the places, now 700 plus 20 plus 9 will give 729, 5 will come in 10th place, 2 will come in 100th place and 9 will come in 1000th place. So the decimal will be 729.529. These are my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and also to watch my next video.